hi good morning everybody welcome back to this week's vlog so today it's friday it's just gone 10 in the morning i'm rushing around as per usual because i've actually got midwife appointment today so i thought i would quickly just start this vlog before the day gets away with me um so yeah i've just had fun trying to catch the good old wee wee in the tiniest pot ever honestly that's got to be like the hardest task to ask a pregnant woman to do but we did it so i'm gonna head out now and then i'll update you with what they sell obviously can't bring my camera or anything um, but i'll update you once i'm done i'm excited for them to listen in to baby girl and obviously i'm going to tell them what's been going on with these tightenings and just see what they say so yeah we're going to head out now and then catch up with you in a minute you know it still hurts a little bit but not that much because if you want somebody else who am i to judge i've been thinking about you all the time but that's all right i'm starting to get used to it i think i'll survive i met you in the summer when you left it was cold said we loved one another Hi everybody, so it is a lot later now from when I last spoke to you, it's actually 6pm, well that turned into an eventful day, so I went to my midwife appointment as I told you at the beginning of the vlog and um, everything was fine, she like asked me how I've been feeling so I explained about the tightenings um, and that was, her movement pattern had changed slightly um, so she said I needed to go to be um, assessed at the assessment unit at the hospital. So I did that. I went straight up there and then um, her heart rate kept dipping. So alarms were going off. It was all a bit of a panic. So we don't actually know why her heart rate kept dipping. Um, we managed to get a good... Why is the lighting going terrible? We managed to get a good trace in the end. So they discharged me. Um, and I'm going for my growth scan. I know I've mentioned this so many times, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I'm going for my growth scan on Tuesday. So they'll know more then, um, but I just need to, it seemed to be that when there was a tightening, her heart rate would dip. And I mean, it would dip to like 80 something, um, but then it would bounce back up. It didn't stay like decelerated. It would always bounce back up. Um, so yeah, I literally spent about four hours at the hospital. I hadn't had anything to eat. So I was like, so washed out and tired so I just came home had some lunch Tom got the kids for me and then I've had another exciting delivery just there it's actually my changing mat it's come so much sooner than I thought so I thought we could um unbox it together I'm just trying to look of where is a good place to put you maybe I'm going to put you here but just excuse the state of my front room Ollie is home so he's absolutely destroyed everything um, if you hear banging outside, Tom is currently demolishing the shed. I'll take you out there in a minute, actually. Um, we need to get rid of the little wooden shed that we kept all of our wood for the log burner in so that he can do that bit of the fencing next. So this is my changing mat. So it's in the same um, pattern as that swaddle I showed you in last week's vlog. So it's this peach peach design I love it should be wipeable I'm just gonna check um but yeah I wasn't expecting stock of this for a little while but it's come yeah it's wipeable you can actually remove the cover off of it and put it into the wash I love it how cute is that um so yeah not done any food shopping or anything yet so I'm thinking that's going to have to wait now because it's got a bit late and I doubt there'll be very much left on the shelf in Morrison. So we'll probably leave that for tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'm going to take in the garden and show you what Tom's up to. Oh, came in a big old box. More recycling. Okay, 
kitchen is an absolute mess. Excuse me. <laughs> what have you got on? Nothing. He's got Tom's um, like motocross helmet thing on. Oh God, it looks like a disaster. Oh, the shed is no more. I should have came out just now. So that's the new fence in, but obviously none of that is ours. It's just going through and broken the fence. So Tom's got to clear everything now. Look at the state of this as well. <laughs> it's just never ending. Washing machine that needs to go out. This needs to be rendered, finished, but obviously look, it's hanging on by a thread, this bit. It'll be done, soon it'll be done. Hi everybody! So, what day is it, Darce? Monday. No, Monday. Monday. Hi everybody, so today's Monday, it's actually lunch time it's 20 to 1 i can't believe where the morning's gone um i just jumped in the shower and washed my hair this morning so i've just been we've just had a slow morning um the kids are off of school today my lips look like i've got no lips today but it's just because i've got no vaseline on them yet but um yeah the kids are off of school today so we're just having a slow morning tom is at work um we're gonna head out to pets at home really quickly because darcy needs some hamster supplies yeah yeah, she needs to clean her hamster out and um, we don't have any bits here. So yeah, I wanted to pop on really quickly because I think the last time I came on was on Friday when I got back from the hospital, I think. Um, I didn't come on Saturday and obviously I didn't come on yesterday, hence why I'm back on today. So just really quickly, we didn't really get up to much over the weekend. What did we do on Saturday? Tom worked, so I had... Um, so I was just at home with Darcy and Ollie and we just did a food shop. We had a pretty chilled out day. And um, Tom, actually, when he got home, he laid the concrete base for the shed in the garden. So um, we've had so much rain since then. So I'm hoping it's gone off okay. Because um, he needed to do that before he could carry on with the fencing. Um, I think I should show you a clip of the fencing, but he started the fencing from the very bottom of the garden and worked his way up to like the point where he could get to before the space had to be laid. So he's done that. So um, he's actually not working tomorrow because I have my um, hospital appointment. So I've got my scan for growth to check on baby girl, how she's growing. Um, this is my first one for growth other than the like ones that are booked in at the 12 week and the 20 week one and then we've got um actually an appointment straight after that with the doctors and the consultant so um that will obviously be to talk about what they see on the scan and i think a bit of a plan for birth obviously we've got weeks to go but just um just to talk about that i think and kind of get a little bit of a plan together um, so yeah, Tom's got the job tomorrow because that's um, in the middle of the day. So obviously I'm not going to be working tomorrow. So he, the plan is um, once the kids are at school, he will just crack on. I think we're doing some fencing before we have to leave and then carry on with that afterwards. Darcy's got um, a little ballet show tomorrow. I think only I'm allowed to go to it. Um, it's just me in the... Yeah, I think it's just me. Um, it's just like a little end of nothing. It's not like a big performance. It's just a, they always do it at the end of a term. They call it like a watching week. Um, but we can't do it with the main ballet class, like her grade two, what would have been grade one, um, because that's done in the hall. But this one, um, she's in like the junior ballet company. So this one we're doing because I think they, they've sorted out like an outdoor space. So I've just noticed this is untied. <laughs> and it was driving me insane yeah. um so yeah i've got that tomorrow after school so um so tom and ollie will just stay here and i guess and carry on with the garden um because we need to get that done really i'm sorry if you can hear so much banging i've got some bits and some trains in the tumble dryer but i'm having a bit of a mare with my tumble dryer i don't know if anybody else has got a condensed and tumble dryer if you've experienced this but i'm just finding that it's not drying the clothes 
I don't really dry a lot in there clothes wise it's mainly like bedding and towels because the weather's been awful I mean when the weather's fine I'll pop out on the line to dry outside but I'm just finding it's not dry and like the other day I even phoned my mum and said what am I doing wrong like because I had my bed in in there and it was in there for six hours and it still wasn't dry and I I pulled the book out I've read the book I know the different settings it's all like draining properly there's no blockages I've checked all the filters so I don't understand but if this I dropped clumsy Emma moment I dropped um fajita sauce all over the mat that we have down in the kitchen so I've currently got that drying because it's raining again outside so I can't dry outside so if I have the same issue with this drying wise, I think I'm gonna have to ring them up and just get them to double check it because I do I know they're maybe not as um quick at drying as like a regular vented tumble dryer, but but I can't be <laughs> six hours is, and it still wasn't dry. So I mean in the end I just hung it over the air and it dried overnight. Um obviously it took the bulk of the moisture out, but yeah. So that was, yeah, pointless conversation, but I just, it popped into my head because I could hear the trainers banging around. Um, so we need to do some tidying. I think we might pop down and do a return to Zara this evening, I think. Don't quote me on that. I always get like a plan. Like yesterday, I got ready in the morning um, because we were going to go down to Cabot in the morning and now I was just, because I'm not feeling it. We were in the car and I was like, no, I just want to go home. <laughs> um, but I do really need to take some bits back because they've still got their... Um, their returns period has gone back to normal so I'm on I think it's got to be returned by like the end of next week so I've still got some time but um yeah just might go down and do that Darcy what's wrong it's making me rage Darcy's getting angry at Roblox um so yeah we're gonna head out and then we're gonna come back and do some lunch Ollie is somewhere I can hear his iPad hello sir What's this? I'm what are you building? Uh, Guys, look at my front room. A new road? You're building a new road? I love all your Lego constructions. Yeah, I mean, he's been good as gold, bless him. He's been sat down there really quietly while I wash my hair. But yeah, the house is chaotic. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to put my jacket on now because um this is just brave wearing this because it is raining actually so i'm gonna put my jacket on now and then we will head out and i will speak to you when i get back hey everybody i thought i would pop on and say hello um it's been a couple of days i think i mean at this point i've just completely lost <laughs> where i am with my day what even day is it Oh my goodness, what day is it? Today is Wednesday, just to excuse me. I've fully just lost my mind, I feel like. Um, so yeah, I'm just really quickly popping a little bit of my um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream on just before I put my sunscreen on. I have done my skincare for this morning. Um, but it's now actually afternoon, I'm gonna pop on a quick dog walk with my um sister just because i've not been feeling too great today um just in terms of just been feeling oh just hormonal hormonal emma over here you know when you just don't feel in the mood to do anything so i'm off of work this week and we've only got one more day next week um before the holidays but i'm off this week just because of all my um checkups and things like that at the hospital so um i thought i would come on and update you because i didn't come on at all yesterday um, i had hospital consultant all that jazz going on so i thought i would come on and update you with how that went so overall it went really really well um i am being seen now every three weeks so i need to have a scan every three weeks my face is not this red in real life i don't know why it's coming off this red on camera um yeah so every three weeks i need to be seeing so yesterday what they did is they scanned baby girl took all of her measurements um she's still plotting slightly on the smaller side um nothing too concerning she's still actually following the centaur that she was following 
at my 20 week scan so as long as she continues to do that and she doesn't drop off of that centile as in go below it um obviously if she goes above it that's fine because she's not going to be huge uh, you know a very big baby anyway but yeah as long as she so she's basically just under the 50th centile overall um she's actually measuring that she's got quite a small head which is you know not a bad thing um but yeah so they want to keep an eye on it because this exact thing they obviously have my records there this happened with Darcy so I went up with reduced movement which is why I had the scan um, and then they noticed there was an area of pocket of fluid that looked quite low. Now that isn't the case at the moment with this baby. Um, so her fluid actually looks really good, which is brilliant. Um, and obviously, like I said, she's growing exactly as she was eight weeks ago when I went for my 20 week scan. So that's really good. So as long as all of that continues, everything will be fine. Um, so they do just want me to go up every three so they can keep you know quite a close eye on things and obviously um if you watch my pregnancy update for last week i did have to go to the hospital on friday actually i think i put it in it's probably in this i've like losing losing where i am with these vlogs because i usually start these on the weekend um just because i find it works better for me and when i upload so yeah basically I won't see my actual midwife until week 34, but obviously I'll be seen again at the hospital twice before that because I'm going to be seen and scanned 31 weeks and 34 weeks. It might be, depending on where my midwife is, I've been seen at the hospital twice before that. But yeah, anyway, so we spoke a little bit about delivery and she just, oh, where have I gone? She'd kind of just penciled down for a cesarean, so... Um, if you're new to my channel, my other two babies were born by elective cesarean. They weren't emergency cesareans. Darcy had to be born by cesarean because she was breech. And because of the growth um, issues, they couldn't try and turn her or do anything like that. So it went down as like an elective cesarean. But obviously I didn't really have any option because I didn't go into labour or anything. So technically it's not classed as an emergency. And then with Ollie, they didn't really want me to go overdue with Ollie. So what I said to them is... They usually book a cesarean between week 39 and 40. So what I said to them is if I go into labour before my date that's booked, then I'll try and have him um, naturally. So I had stretch and sweep and all things like that. But they weren't willing to induce me in terms of like breaking my water or anything. So I didn't actually labour with Ollie. I went in and had him by cesarean. So I said to Tom, because obviously this baby wasn't planned, I just said I don't I kind of have it in my head that I might want to try and see if I can have her naturally so basically what the consultant said we spoke in depth about it so she said I don't need to make a decision yet so I need to let them know basically by my 34 week appointment and obviously as long as everything is well with baby girl before that then um you know I have got the option but what she did go through is all of the risks associated with um, a vaginal birth. So I've got all of that to weigh up. And yeah, I, I don't know, to be honest, at the moment, I'm a little bit on the fence with everything. So yeah, if you've ever been in a similar situation to me, I'd love to hear what happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, really positive. Um, we came home. Tom actually had... Oh, the day off of work yesterday so he um continued with some fencing in the garden so that looks really great we've now moved the um black metal storage shed. so i will take when i come back from my walk i will take you in the garden in show you how it's looking we've got a few areas of the deck that need to be patched in because ideally i just want to change it to composite deck in um but there's just too much that we need to do this year so um tom's just going to buy a couple of deck boards and just patch in the areas that need to be patched in because um some of them are so rotten and it's kind of just happened this year um it was fine and then all of a sudden we've got like holes where the wood's just disintegrated so yeah we're going to patch those in we're going to power wash everything off and then repaint it because obviously the paint is just been through the ringer with all the building work but the garden looks so much bigger now the shed is moved um i've got all of the covers from our like garden furniture on the line i've washed all of that um and i popped home bargains this morning so i was going to do a separate oh my goodness 
I am forever dropping this eyebrow pencil. I was going to do a separate home bargains haul, um, but I'm just going to put it in this vlog because you, I've had such really good, that made no sense at all, learn to speak, Emma. I've had really great feedback on these weekly vlogs, so it seems that you really like the, like, kind of, like, snippets each day, the hauls, little cleaning bits, just catch-ups in general. So I think we'll continue that. So, yeah, I'm just going to not do anything too huge but just put a little bit of pencil on my eyebrows my sister will be here to get me in a minute anyway so i need to hurry up um yeah and then i'll catch up with you when i'm back from our dog walk <laughs> Okay, so I'm back from my dog walk now and I figured that I would just do a really quick sit down, run through everything I picked up in Home Bargains. I've got Darcy and Ollie home as well now. So yeah, but I needed to come into the front room because it's really warm today and the front room's at the front of the house. Um, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm just sitting in here. So nothing really exciting in here, just the usual, but I picked up some more kitchen roll um i when i went to b and m i don't know if it was in last week's vlog or the week before i picked up a pack of fabulosa um kitchen roll and it smelled amazing but it is rubbish um it's so thin and just falls apart so didn't recommend that but i do really like this one because it's super strong so i grabbed one of those and then we all know about my ice addiction so i picked up this silicone tray so I thought it would be better or easier to pop the cubes out this is 129 it's kind of like the extra large one so this should keep me going for a while um and then there's another one of these where is it oh here I'm being really lazy and just dragging bags to myself I picked up a couple of these um wipe clean books for um during the holidays for Ollie uh, they didn't really have any for Darcy and like her a curriculum that she's going into but this one is the handwriting one and this one is a spelling one they were 89 pence when i go again i might have a look to see if we've got like an add-in basic one for him because he's just going to start getting into that but i just like these wipe clean ones because they're obviously just really easy um they don't get mess anywhere and yeah they did have a really good selection for different um ages just they didn't seem to have anything for darcy because she's going to go into year five so it was all sort of like for younger ages below that so if you've got a child you know younger than darcy definitely check out home bargains because 89p is so cheap and then i picked up tom some epsom bath salts i use these when i'm not pregnant as well but obviously can't use them at the moment well, i don't think you can actually when i've looked before it says you can Yeah, it says, do not use, if you are suffering from a medical condition or medical treatment, breastfeeding, pregnant or have very sensitive skin, do not use or seek advice of a medical professional. So yeah, I'll just give that a miss for now. But yeah, that's for Tom. Now I picked up another pot of these Lenore in scent boosters in the scent Summer Vibes because that's my favourite. And actually saying that, I picked up the fabric conditioner to go with it. So, hopefully we'll be having holiday smells in our washing. Um, and then I've got another bottle of Ribena, the sugar-free one, because we're going through that in like less than a week. Everyone seems to love that. I picked a, a pack of the Pink Lady Apples. These are so cheap. They're 95p, um, and they're just the perfect size for the kids' pack lunches, and this is our favourite apple. So we've got that some good old paracetamol um some more capricorns there's a theme here when i come to the next bag please don't judge me but it's all snacks basically um because yeah tom said you know there's no chocolate or snacks in the drawer m um but it's when i went to marston's nothing was on offer so i needed a good old home bargains mooch which is what i've done today obviously but yeah 350 for the big pack of the capri sun and then i got this 
Oh my goodness, a huge roll of bin liners. These last for ages, but I just picked them up because I only had two left. We didn't need any, but um, I just thought it was always handy because I want to go through. Ollie's got like a big chest in the garden of toys that he doesn't use anymore, so I want to go through that um, and sort out what needs to be donated, what we're keeping, that sort of thing. And then, now that bag's done. So in this bag, we've got the Fibre One birthday cake squares. So I picked those at the 149. I'm gonna put all the food together, I think. And then I picked up a couple of gift bags. So this is for Darcy and Ollie's teachers. So they've got one each. And then the smaller one is for the teaching assistant. So I got one each of those. I wanna get their bags sorted so that they can take it into school tomorrow or Friday. Their last day's Monday, but just because everything going on with them, um, I'm not even gonna say the word, you know what's going on. I just, in case they have to isolate or whatever before we don't see the teachers. I picked up another Dishmatic just because it's so much better value with the six refills in there. And then I got a card. Love their selection of cards. Some more snacks. Salted Caramel Galaxy oh, in the fridge. Needed that. I got Ollie some Milky Bars. I needed some more cotton rounds just to keep under the um, sink in the bathroom. And then I needed another elbow grease because annoyingly my nozzle broke on mine and all the product leaked ever. And I love this for cleaning my PVC and my doors in the garden. The French doors in my kitchen, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, actually saying that, the kitchen window is atrocious as well. So yeah, I needed this so I can give all the PVC a wipe down. And what else have we got? So, some white twigs. This is the snack pile coming up. Time out wafers, I've got two packs of those because Darcy quite enjoys those when pack lunch. Some Cadbury twirls, Turkish delight. And the mini milkers. I think I showed you those in my other vlog but they went down really well for the pack lunches. And then, last but not least, now I've been trying to get my hands on the, oh, what's it called? Was it Star Drops Pink Stuff version of the like scrubby brush, the batter oper operated brush. Cannot find it anywhere. It's like a B&M exclusive, but I've tried, every time I go in there, I look and I can never find it. Find this one in Home Bargains. Now this was 3 dollars it's the Power Action brand electronic cleaning brush set. So it says it works on a high speed. You get four different heads. Um, I'll just show you. So that one's slightly pointed. You've got a wider one there, slightly smaller one, and then a more dense one. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with this. I was planning on using this when I do my uh, doors, like the PVC, because there's some like little areas that are quite hard to get into. And also the sink in the utility could do with a bit of a going over um, where there's some lime scale on it. So I wouldn't mind using it on that and also my taps in the bathroom. So yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. That's everything that I picked up in Home Bargains. One that one's one longer as well, isn't it? Yeah, this one, I like this one. No, me and Maddie have the same one. Hey everybody, so today is Thursday. <laughs> I've got Darcy here. We've just popped out. Um, excuse my bare face. I've literally not put anything on my face today and it is so hot. Um, hence my little dress that I'm in. I got this from um, ASOS. It's not maternity, but it's just perfect. I can obviously wear this next year. And I've got my little twinny with her space buns. I'm from space. <laughs> also my dress. So we just popped um, to... B&M and HomeSense. I haven't been to HomeSense in so long, so I thought I'd really quickly show you what I've got. I mean, these vlogs just literally seem to be me rambling and showing you hauls, mm. but Tom and Ollie are football. at football, Training. yeah, for Ollie. So it's just me and little lady today, isn't it? So we would have gone down and watched him, but um, we just wanted to go and get some. Yeah, full of teachers. Yeah, so their last day is Monday, but there's a lot of cases at the moment with isolation yeah. at school. It doesn't affect their year groups, but I just thought I want to get it all fine now so you can take it in tomorrow just in case um, they they don't get to go in on Monday. So, should we show what we picked up for the teachers first of all? Let yes. me just go and get the bags and I'll show you kind of like what I'm thinking for Are the bags. 
what we got for i got the same bag so what we're thinking is for the teaching assistants there's one in each class so i just i think i showed you these i got these in home bargains it's just a gold one i think they were like 39p and then i just picked them up a box yeah i think we showed where did we get these? we got these maldi last week i'm gonna turn the camera this way just slightly because the sun is glaring in at me and you'll be able to see a bit better so yeah it just says thank you for believing in me so they'll have to just take that to the bag it's a bit big um but we got them just a mixed lindor box of chocolate so it just fits perfectly in there so i'm thinking that for the teaching assistants um so they've just got the same and then for the main teacher the main teachers oh i bet these boxes don't fit in there so we've got them each a box of Different. chocolates so this is for Ola's teacher. And no, this is for my teacher. It's not going to fit in there, I bet. Oh, we can fit it in there on diagonal. So again, it's the Home Bargains bag. And I also made for Ola's teacher, I have made this really cute bookmark. It's so um, adorable. With her name on, because she loves giraffes. And it's just got a tassel on the back. So I had that made, so that's personalised for her. And then I did show you this before, but I had their cards. Um, yeah, that's really cute. Yeah, I'm going to write those later. I had the cards made and personalised with their name. I'm just going to cover up all his teachers' names just for obviously privacy reasons. <laughs> um, and just a really cute message, and it says, Love Ollie. And Darcy's one says the same, obviously, it just says, Love Darcy. And then we were a bit stuck on what else to get them. Um, so we picked up in HomeSense just a little candle each. So the same one, it's the DW, which is, I think it's Dave, I want to say David Wilson, but I literally could just be making that up. But DW Home, um, and it's Wild Poppies. But did you notice how the car smart really nice coming home? Oh, yes, it's not yeah. so good. If they had the bigger version of this, I prefer the sand and fog ones, but I would have gotten those. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking for... The teacher. Oh, also, um, like Miss Katai got a bookmark. My teacher is pregnant, so we're gonna give her a little teddy for the baby. Mhm. Mm yeah, we'll give her a little comforter for her baby. Right, so put those chocolates there, but we won't put it back on the table because the sun's shining through. Um, and then I also picked myself up because I haven't been into home since. I think six months. I, I it's been it's been a good few months. I'm not exaggerating when I say that, but yeah. I don't think it's been a year, but it's been it's been a long old time. So I treated myself to a candle, but look how cute the top is. It's like a floral pineapple. This is Sand and Fog. That's my favourite brand of candle. And this is vanilla pineapple. Oh, it smells so good. Oh yeah, Doris, I love it. Oh, it smells like a fruit. It smells like punch. you can eat it. Like it's yeah. Eat it like a fruit punch. Mm, love it. Vanilla's my like vibe, so. Oh, do you know what it smells like? I'm just gonna whisper it to you. Malibu? How do you know Malibu smells like Darcy? What else did we get? I oh, got... a mat. Oh dad. yeah, Darcy got a, oh, just a yoga oh, mat. It's really, um, it's a lot thinner than the one she takes because she needs one for her ballet. So she picked, is that, uh, where's the feeding cushion gone? Oh, the feeding cushion. And we picked baby sister up, a feeding cushion. I was going to get it from mamas and papa. Oh, no, the bag's ripped. Oh, oh damn it. I thought I had yeah, I was going to get one from Mamas and Papas, but it was £30. But, I mean, this has just oh, saved me quite a lot because this is £12.99. And it's just plain white. And it's kind of like, if it will focus, see, can you see it's like that waffle? But just plain white. So I'm really pleased with that. And then, in B&M, we also picked up a laundry bag. Now I'm thinking for this, if I show you the picture, because it's not unwrapped, so it looks like that. Oh, that's a bad picture, actually. So it was seven pounds, and I'm thinking of standing it just in the utility out there. I'll show you in a second. Um, because what we do, like when we, like, when I finish with the minkies or the tea towels, or if Ollie, he comes straight home and just chucks his uniform off out mm -hmm. there. And at the moment I've got a pile um, on the floor, so I'll show you in a second, but I'm thinking for that to just stand in front of the machine, and that way it's not just dumped. There, that was my oh, thing. Also, in home bargains, we did get macaroons, they were so good. Oh, we did get macaroons. I don't know what we've done with them now. No, um, so being M, I got two packs of Pop Tarts because highly Mavericks. requested. You know, if you've seen any of my other hauls, that's like my center I have to get for the kids because that's all they ask for. 
Um, I got a triple pack because now I've got those toys. So I got a triple pack of oh, rim blocks. So these were two eighty nine for three. And then oh, I don't know how I feel about this. It's a little dilemma we have. We do. You know, I've been sent to. I can't find the Excellent. towel anywhere. So I found this one. This was four pound. I mean, it is lovely with the wood and the black, but nothing else is wood and black. So I've bought it. To go. See, I don't know if it's going to go because sister stuff is all white, like the perfect prep machine. Yeah, but now I'll just give like a black cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. I'll we'll see if I don't. Um, and then I completely got ripped off with some Rennies because I've been getting really bad indigestion and I need to phone the midwife, but I've literally just paid five pound for these. We've got some orange juice from Mr. Oliver. He's decided he loves orange now. Ketchup for also Oliver. I need ketchup for pass. Oliver. I'm obsessed. We're packing away. Well, I'm going to put it away as we unpack. I've got my helper today. Yeah, what is I see this Mango one. Papaya. I've never used this one before. Yeah. Mmm. Pretty bunch. Yeah, so this was a pang, but it's the big, big one. And then that's the other pack of chocolates. So I'm going to put the, let's go and put the washing basket up a second and then we'll see how we feel about this. Do I like it? I don't know if I like it. Do I like it? Let's put a kitchen roll on and we'll see what we feel. So I'm thinking just for like, because I'm going to do like a bottle station if I need to use bottles obviously out here so I don't have to take up workspace in the kitchen I mean it is really cute and it was four pound um let me turn you around so excuse the bin liner this is actually uniform that no longer fits the children that I'm donating so they've got like a school page where you can advertise and people that obviously like need uniform will comment on that and I've just got my <laughs> fabric conditioner still like this is amazing by the way i showed this yesterday but i've actually done three wash loads today and it's so good um and then i've also put to use so the peonies that my sister bought me um obviously aren't that they're dead now so i've put them in the uh, garden waste but she actually had me the tin um like pot made because for our 10 year anniversary so I just thought, I mean, I probably will use it as a flower pot, but I just put my spare dish matics. We haven't been using the sink a whole bunch out here, but I just put the spare dish matic there. And then this is actually a tabletop that I've just been balancing behind there because I haven't yet got Tom to put the rails in um, here. I'm just really unsure as to whether I want to do it because we've been managing okay with the error and what I'm thinking is I wouldn't ever be able to hang like trousers up unless I got one of the ones that kind of like tilt backwards off of the wall so he hasn't put any rails up as yet but I'm thinking obviously that's quite better um so I might pop to the range at some point and see if I can get something to go up there if I don't put a clothes rack up and then this here is just the box for my baby carrier which came from ebay i just wanted to wash it um, and i was putting similar colors on so i gave that a wash today and it's on the line ready to be brought in so i'll put it back in now and then obviously i can put it up in storage so what i'm thinking is obviously i haven't set anything up in terms of her bottles or anything just as yet um so i don't know i mean that'll probably give somewhere like like that I guess I've still got my um, mat here because it's not been finished render the outside's not been finished yet so Tom's been walking in that and getting a bit grubby so I'm saving this for when it's all completely done um, but yeah what do you think I guess it looks quite nice actually doesn't it what do you think Doris Hello. it's just because my handles and the sink and the tap were chrome so I was trying to get a chrome one but yeah, come I feel like I'm being <gasps> Do you like it? What am I looking at? The paper holder. I love it. You love it? And it matches and Yeah, it does. So that's a success. So. Oh, let's do the laundry hot. bag, actually. Ow. That hurt me. Oh. Are you, have you got the right card? I'm just making sure she's not writing all his teacher's cards. So. Can you see that pile of washing? Just down there. So this, that's what I'm saying when I'm saying about the tea towels and things. 
So I thought with this, um, I wanted more of like a neutral colour, like a sandy colour. Whoa. But they didn't have anything like that. And they did have other ones, but they were huge. And obviously I don't need, I don't need it absolutely huge. I mean, this is still quite big, but I mean, I feel like that's quite a good size, do you think? And then, obviously when I'm not using the, like, airer like today, I need to find a better place for it really, because I've got everything out on the line. But what I'm thinking is, like, literally just put in stuff in like that and I just feel like that can just sit like that and then I'll know when I come down when I brought stuff down from upstairs you see I like that that's quite nice doesn't it so yeah slowly coming together very slowly but it is coming together so I am going to Ollie's already had his tea because um Tom likes him to have like eaten before he goes to training. Um, so he's running around and it's hot today as well, so he needs like his energy. Um, but I'm just gonna crack on and make Darcy's tea and then I'll make mine and Tom's tea. I think we're just gonna do that pizza roll up that you've seen me do lots of times in my vlogs. So I'm gonna end this weekly vlog here. I am sorry that I've missed a few days this week. It's just been a little bit crazy with the hospital appointments, etc. Um, and obviously I did miss an upload this week because I didn't upload anything on Tuesday. That was purely my fault. I filmed a video but I just didn't schedule it and then I missed it. So I thought I didn't really want to upload Thursday and Friday. So that's what video went up on Friday. So this will go up on Tuesday. Um, so it might be next week that I have two vlogs go live. But we will see. We'll see how we get on. Um... But yeah, I haven't really got much else to say, but I hope you're all well. I hope you've all had a lovely week. We've been having some lovely weather here, so I hope you've been having lovely weather as well. It's very long overdue. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. If you're not already, I hope you'll consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Do you want to say bye-bye, Doris? Bye! Bye, everyone.